Hey folks, this is Brad with PCMac.com and today we're going to show you how to add new fonts to your Mac. Uh, this is specifically for El Capitan and a couple of earlier versions, but uh, some versions uh, it will be different because they don't have a font book installed. Um, so what you'll want to do is just head to any, uh, basically any uh, font website that lets you download fonts for free. Uh, Defont.com is one of those. Uh, all the fonts are free for personal use. Uh, obviously, it's a bit different for uh, commercial use, but yeah. Uh, they have a ton of different s font styles and categories you can uh, search between, like uh, calligraphy and so on. And then uh, once you pick a font you want, you just click this download button to the right here. Uh, once you have that download on your computer, you'll get a uh, zip file, something like this. Uh, and then you want to unzip it and you can do that by just double clicking it on Mac and then you'll get this uh, tf .tff file which is the uh, file you'll will be using uh, and they also many of the fonts come with a uh, commercial licensing guide uh, so next what you'll want to do is head into launchpad and search for fontbook you want to open that and then for a to add uh, the font to the entire system instead of a specific user, you can just click on the computer tab here. Or if you just want it to be user specific, you can add it to the user tab. Uh, we're going to add it as a system wide font. So, first, what you want to do is press this plus button. And then next, you'll want to go to the location of your file, and that's on our desktop and in the street gathering folder. And then we'll want to click on the .tff file, and it'll upload it. Uh, it'll require you to add in, uh, type in your password, and then it adds it as a system file. And that's all there is to it. Um, sometimes if you, uh, let's say you add a font to a uh, user. Uh, and then you decide, hey, I actually want that as a system font. Um, you'll see this thing come up saying uh, multiple copies of this font are installed. Uh, and you can click on resolve automatically or resolve manually and it'll get rid of that uh, extra copy of the font. Uh, you can also, uh, on fonts, you can uh, click on it and uh, validate the font to make sure that it's safe to use. And so down here you can say it runs a check real quick and says one font passed, this font should be safe to use. So that's all there is to it, folks. Uh, it's a really simple process. And there's a couple cool things you can do with it like that. And yeah, uh, for a step-by-step uh, -step guide, you can head to the link in the description below where we, uh, we have a tip where we take you step-by-step -step on how to do that. And we've also got a bunch of other great tutorials on our YouTube channel, so be sure to check those out. And once again, I've been Brad at PCMac.com, and until next time.